to the underground physical culture training session. All right. So what we're going to be doing is uh, it's a circuit training class basically. Uh, but what we're going to be doing is using a piece of equipment that you may not have seen before and that you may not have used before. And basically, what I'm trying to do, or what we're trying to do as Premier, is really get people sort of thinking outside the box. All right. So uh, we're going to look at using all this type of gear and, and, and let's see how we sort of get on with it. Now, as far as the stuff that we've got going on here today, we want to sort of promote you if you're, if you're going out, you're training in parks and stuff like that, or you're training outdoors. And the last thing you want to do is have like a van full of gear. Yeah? You don't want to get little bits and bats that are only going to do, like one thing that will do your triceps, one thing that's really good for your legs, one thing that's really good for your chest. Yeah? You want gear that's going to sort of be useful as a full body sort of workout, don't we? Yeah, because then we've got to carry less equipment about, alright? So, what we're going to look at doing is we're going to look at uh, tornado balls, we're going to be working them today. Uh, tornado balls great for generating sort of rotational power. So again, as I was talking to, to, to some of you about before, uh, I come from a, from a fighting background, so I train a lot of fighters, uh, and rotational work, absolutely superb. So tornado balls are great for that, and also, Pretty good if you want to get like a little bit of a bum, 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 little bit of a six pack going on or whatever you want to fancy. Alright? We've also got to look at the Bulgarian bags. Again, superb for getting rotational working. You can throw them about, you can give them a bit of a kick in and, uh, and, and they'll take it and ask for a little bit more. So it's all good. We've then got power hammers we're going to have a look at. Uh, if you go down a B and Q and you get an hammer or sledgehammer and you're doing a bit of tire work or whatever, they like for. If they're fairies, them little mini sledgehammers. Yeah? We want these big rascals. That's what we want. We've got to start hitting things with, with bigger things. Yeah? Uh, we're going to look at uh, some kettlebells, just dead simple stuff. Uh, a little bit of a Turkish kettle with the kettlebells. Uh, hydro bags. Now, again, these are sort of uh, bags filled with water. Uh, great for sort of uh, training our sort of feedback loop. And the way I like to think of it is, you know, let's say. Uh, Water never does the same thing, does it? It always does something different. Yeah? So us being the master of adapters, our bodies being the master of adapters, how can we adapt to something that's constantly sort of changing? Alright, so it's really, really sort of challenging, great for our sort of feedback loop uh, and for sort of balance training, proprioceptive training. Okay? We're gonna do a little bit um, a little bit of growler training, or a little bit of prowler training. Say I like these apples, these are uh, that's not nice. Really? Yeah. <laughs> it, there is a condition known as prowler flu. Alright? And uh, let's see if we can get somebody to sort of like push it. If you do need to throw up, just push and throw up over there and they just carry on. Alright? Don't stop it. <laughs> now, these aren't just sort of for pushing and pushing and pulling and all this that. We do have sort of a fixing point on the front. Uh, where we can clip a TRX to or a rope to or whatever it may be and we can do like reverse rolls, we can do pushes, we can do rotational drags, we can do tons of stuff like that, we can plate load them, yeah, so we can increase the intensity, absolutely superb for training, great for uh, sort of building up a, a lactic, lactic acid tolerance, okay? Uh, we're going to look at power clubs, uh, apparently is scary. I'm apparently the UK's leading expert on power clubs that don't know how that sort of works. It's quite scary. Um, so we'll look at that. Great for uh, increasing mobility and stability of our shoulder joint. Because uh, you know that we have a lot of the time we have this payoff, don't we, between mobility and, and stability. So the more mobile a joint tends to be, the, or more mobile the joint is, the, t the less stable it tends to be. Okay, and the, the more stable, the less mobile. But with the uh, power clubs, because you train for a full range of motion, you train all the muscles in your rotator cuff, you get increased stability and increased mobility. All right, great for training uh, for wrist training. Yeah, and we're going to relate it back to fighting again. So let's say you land a punch, bosh. When you're at full extension, there, if you get any deviation in the wrist, you lose lots of power through through those deviations. If we can increase the, the strength and stability of our wrist, then we sort of we, we're gaining more power without actually increasing the power of our punch, if that makes any sort of sense. Yeah, so we're not putting more power in, but we're getting more out. Uh, so power clubs, fantastic. We'll look at uh, hydro balls or slosh balls. What these are is basically just atlas stones filled with water. 
and they're a proper handful. Yeah? So we're just going to look at the black and the blue. If anybody thinks they're like big time Charlie Potato, have a go on the, uh, on the red one. Let's see how I like them apples, Mark. Red ones for you. Alright? Uh, great for doing stuff like if you want to do rotational stuff. And because we can't get a grip on it, because it is so difficult to get a grip on, it's great in, in that sort of respect. It makes it extremely challenging for us. Alright? Uh, my personal favourite is, uh, along with the, uh, with the growler, is going to be battling rope training. Absolutely fantastic. Now, today we're just going to look at sort of keeping the rope moving, but we can sort of look at training aerobic leg, anaerobic leg. We can look at training for function, so we can get rotations into what we're doing. Yeah? There's tons of different ways to train with a rope. Uh, and the only limitation is our imagination. <laughs> Yeah? Do yes. like That's copyrighted. <laughs> right? So we've got little tiny waves, we've got big waves going on, and then we're going to be looking at the bungee harnesses. Um, absolutely superb pieces of equipment. Um, great for sort of acceleration, but also to control deceleration. <coughs> you've got to slow yourself down going backwards. Um, great, you know, if you're training in a park or something like that, whack them in a bag nice and light. And then it's not just about sprinting, they come with handles, you know, so if you want to do any sort of, uh, sort of uh, pulling work, pushing work, rotational work, any sort of stuff like that, bungee harness is absolutely, fa absolutely fantastic for it, okay? Now, most of this stuff, apart from, apart from the growler, um, was supplied by, you know, Jason Wolverson outside, so if, you, if you're interested in any equipment after you've had a bit of a play with it, then uh, go and see him say, Ben said to give us loads of discount. <laughs> yeah? and they'll go, oh, all right then. Okay? Well, we're not trying to tweak, one's not filled with lead or something, all right? So, uh, what we're going to use is a barbell grip. So there, yeah? Hands are that way. From there, whoop, straight up, catch it in the crook of your elbow. Okay? Back down to there, whoop. Straight up to there, and back down to there. The orange bag. It's a right handful. Yeah, that's for Matt. The bonus bag's for you. Okay. And while we're doing that, we're going to be doing a uh, jump squats. Okay. So we're going to split into uh, into groups on there. Okay. Next one. <sighs> Proud of suicides. <laughs> I love that name. It's a bit of it. suicides. Right. So you're going to go out to there. Straight over, and back to there. Okay, when you lot do it, it'll be plate loaded, so it'll be a bit heavier than that. Alright, I'm just showing you technique. Okay, we're then going to be going from there into a power club sagittal arm cast. Now, this is going to be double club. Okay, so club's up to there, you're going to go up and over, and back down to there and back down to there. And that's it. Piece of cake. All right, and into squats. Okay? Next one's gonna be a, a frontal plane lunge. So we're gonna grab all this. Up to there. We're gonna go lunge to there, and out to there. Okay? Happy with that? And you're gonna be doing press-ups while, uh, while your partner's doing a frontal plane lunge. I don't worry about that yet, man. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry. Okay. Next one we're going to do. Straight down to me. Whack that on. And then from there, <laughs> you're being a bit uh, ambitious there, aren't you? Step it out of the way. It's clear to Spain. Move that power clubs. <laughs> I'm only two over here. <laughs> okay, so from there, Out to there, oh, and back to there, okay? We've got to do this today. Okay, now from there, while you're doing that, your partner's going to be doing uh, power press ups, okay? They're all, all the, I'll explain on the stations. Next one's going to be battling rope, okay? So, if you taste there, which I obviously have, we'll do the, uh, the two inch rope. So, from there, Big slams. 
coming up. <laughs> ah, and that's it. Go on. What's the second exercise while your partner's doing that one? Right, over there. Sorry, my, my apologies. Prowl of suicides are paired up with power press ups. Okay, so it's not like a clap press up. What you can do is if you, if you can't generate enough force uh, in a full, a full sort of press up, go into a three quarter press. Okay? Are we happy? Yeah? Right, let's get on it like a carb on it. Alright? <laughs>
Okay? So what we want to do is see our clients, bam, just as we get to the end of it, bam, we just click the shoulder, bam, bam, and then we can throw the right hand off it. Okay? So, jab's going to go, boom, straight out to there, yeah? Fist and uh, elbow's going to ro rotate up behind it to meet it. Now, a lot of the time as well, <laughs> what people tend to feel or feel like is that they're generating more force from a bent arm. Yeah? So you see people sort of landing the shot with a bent arm and thinking that they're getting a lot of power into the shot. This is sort of incorrect. Yeah? You generate the maximum amount of force at, in the end range of the shot. Like if you look at Atten when he fought Kostu Zhu, uh, Kostu Zhu is pound for pound one of the hardest punches ever. All right? But what Atten did was he closed him down. He knew he was going to get punched. So he closed him down, so that because he knew every punch he landed was bent out. Especially with a beginner client, it's going to put them at a biomechanical disadvantage, alright? Because if you throw it, knuckles down like that, or knuckles sort of uh, facing forward, look where my elbow is. Yeah? My elbow's going to be low, alright? So if I've got, a, if my elbow's low, when I land that shot, I get lateral rotation at the shoulder joint, and I lose a lot of power. If my elbow's high, I, loop, I get medial rotation at the shoulder joint and I lose a lot of power that way. So the way I teach a hook is to turn your fist with your knuckles pointing up. Now naturally, it brings your elbow up behind your fist. Okay? So we don't lose, we have no deviation. We don't have any uh, lateral or medial rotation at the shoulder joint. Does that make sense? Yeah? So there are two ways to do it. You see lo loads of professional fighters will throw a hook like that, especially a long range hook. Yeah? But for me personally, I like to throw it BAM with the elbow behind the fist and knuckles pointing up. Okay? Now, I've never done anything with you, you've never done anything with me, so I'm <laughs> nice and steady. Nice and steady. Alright? So, just a jab to there, mate. Go again. That's better. One more. Okay, good stuff. So you can see I'm just sort of slightly rotating in. Yeah? Just slightly rotating and taking the shot. Okay? Now let's try it on it with, with the right hand. Again, we're going to do the same, but we're now just going to be throwing a little bit more power off the right hand. I may rotate just a touch more, okay, because I've got to be able to absorb the shot. Just back, just a touch, mate. Okay, so straight right to there. One more. That's it, again. Good. So I'm not coming too far through. I'm just slightly rotating to absorb the shot, okay? And then we'll put some sort of combinations together. So we're just going to do, uh, we'll just go one, two, mate. Nice and easy, all right? Yeah, again. Good, one more. Okay, so I'm not coming right through. Flipping heck, it's scared me anyway. <laughs> All right, And there. Good. All right. Three. Three jabs, yeah? Boom, boom, boom. Okay, go. Right hand. Two. Good. Okay, we're going to go right up to the body. Yeah? Right up to the body. Yeah? Where you go? And left up. Right hook, straight right, head, two, okay, we're going to go, jab, right uppercut, left hook, straight right, so try it steady, jab, uppercut, left hook, straight right, okay, where are we going, good, one more, good, that's better, okay, we're going to go right up body, left hook head, straight right hand, so try it steady, okay, where are we going, Cheers, nice. Let's just take them. Uh, take them. Generate some serious water.